Good day everyone! Welcome back to Math A YouTube channel. Kung hindi ka pa nakakapag-subscribe sa channel na ito, please click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell for more updates. Our lesson for today is about inductive and deductive reasoning. Okay, so let us start with inductive reasoning. An inductive reasoning uses specific examples to arrive at a general rule, generalizations, or conclusions. So example, we have the numbers 9, 18, 27, 36, 45. So what is the next number? Okay, so based dito sa ating specific example, pwede nating ma-generalize that these are multiples of 9. So, ang multiple of 9 na kasunod ng 45 ay 54. That's why 54 is the next number. So, ito yung tinatawag na inductive reasoning. Next is deductive reasoning. A deductive reasoning uses facts, definitions, and accepted properties in a logical order to arrive at a conclusion. So halimbawa, Parallel lines do not intersect. Line A and line B do not intersect. Therefore, so we can conclude that line A and line B are parallel lines. So, ito yung tinatawag nating deductive reasoning. Let us answer this activity. Make a conclusion from each given and identify the kind of reasoning used, whether inductive or deductive. So, for our number 1, we have 2 dots, 4 dots, 6 dots, and then what will be the next figure? Okay? So, based sa ating specific example, we started with 2 dots, and then sumunod ay 4 dots, and then followed by 6 dots. So, we can conclude that the next figure will be 8 dots. And this is from inductive reasoning. Next, para sa ating number 2, coplanar points are points on the same plane. Point M and point G are on the same plane. So, ano ang ating magiging conclusion? So, based dyan sa ating dalawang statement, pwede tayo magkaroon ng conclusion na point M and point G are coplanar points. So, ano ang type ng reasoning na ginamit? So, this is based on deductive reasoning. So, number 3, we have here 11. 22, 33, and 44. So, the next number is blank. So, ano kaya ang next number? So, based on sa ating given example, so, we have 11, 22, 33, and 44 are all multiples of 11. So, we can conclude that the next number will be 55. So, ang type ng reasoning na ginamit dito ay inductive reasoning. Next is number 4. An angle is right if it measures 90 degrees. Angle P is a right angle. So, what will be our conclusion? So, based dito sa ating statements, we can conclude that angle P measures 90 degrees. So, ano ang type of reasoning na ginamit? So, ito ay based sa deductive reasoning. Next, number 5. My teacher in math is kind. My brother's teacher in math is also kind. My sister's teacher in math is kind too. What can you say about math teachers? So, nagkaroon tayo ng mga specific example dito sa ating mga first statements. And then, Based dito sa ating mga specific example, pwede nating may conclude that all math teachers are kind. So, ano ang type of reasoning? So, ito ay based sa 
inductive reasoning. Okay, so that ends our lesson for today. Thank you for watching. I'm Teacher Grace. See you again next time. Bye!